what's going on guys um just just we just all finished watching uh king of the table and uh you, you gotta say it was one of the one of the uh most enjoyable king of the tables um that there's been uh we, we have to start with the with the, the biggest story john brzenk uh pulling alexi bavoida um what i loved about this match was the energy between the two there was so much respect from both of them um there were smiles on their faces uh john john getting to the redemption um and the victory after of course the um the Nemiroff loss that he took to to Alexei Vavoda as part of pulling John 19 years ago. Um, the full circle, the fairy tale, it's just awesome. But like I said, the attitudes between the two guys was was amazing. The arm wrestling was 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 epic. John looked so good in terms of his back pressure and pronation. Uh, Alexei had that ability to try to scoop it into a hook, and he was very close on a number of rounds. It just he couldn't quite get it. Um, I love that John then tested himself out, went into the hook in round four before he'd secured the victory and, and started to do what John does, which is to test himself and show that he's he's unafraid. Uh, he went in there into the fire and Alexi looked pretty good. He, his endurance in the hook was solid. Um, and ultimately, John ended up getting the job done. Uh, but Alexi Vavoda, I, I have to say it was so good seeing him back in the sport and with a good energy, with a good spirit. He, even though he said at the end of it that uh, there's doubts for him whether he will actually continue, um, I think there's definitely a place. There's definitely a place for him. The sport is a, uh, it's a community that has that ability to stay relevant for so long. And Alexi clearly is at that pointy end. Um, genetically, he's a, he's a monster. Um, his, his arm wrestling ability and you know, table IQ is there. Um, he just needs the time and the conditioning again. And I think he'll get that if he does stay active in the sport. So um, it was awesome. It was awesome to watch. I really, really thoroughly enjoyed that match. Um, and yeah, well done to John. Uh, well done to Renee as well, getting on there and uh, being part of the post-match interview. Um, I, of course, can't... Uh, have this video without talking about the other two matches on there that were particularly awesome for me to watch, which was, of course, the two gentlemen from my region of the world, Matei Urangi, Heta Morris, and Lachlan Adair, both competed. Um, let's start with Matei Urangi uh, up against Lazaro Barkin. Um, great match, great match. Lazaro Barkin showing that versatility was really impressive. I've met Lars plenty of times as well when he's come down to Australia, and Matei Urangi put up a fight worked hard um, but it was again just a very impressive match I, I mean I love seeing the guys that I know particularly well um, just grinding away doing what they do getting better at the sport and I think that it that both Mate Rangi and Lars and this this one um, grew a lot and they will grow a lot from that so um, impressive performance from Lars great fight from Mate Rangi. And um, I thoroughly enjoyed watching it. Lachlan and Crassy, uh, very, very cool match. Um, Crassy showing showing why he is uh, one of the legends of the sport. Um, he's been doing it for, whatever, what was it, 20 years or something like that. And uh, he looked the goods. His, his explosivity off the go and his ability to hold on to Lachlan and, and through speed and, and great static strength uh, from center, he was able to open up Lachlan and force Lachlan to defend from the the most open hook position. Um, it was it was very cool seeing the the hook wars um, when they got in there. Lachlan looked fantastic when he could get in the hook, but it was it was Krazy who just was so fast and explosive that it prevented Lachlan from getting into that hook. The um, the press presses from Lachlan, I oh mean, I know what they feel like. Um, yeah, awesome. He was I think he was super unlucky to get called on the running foul uh, where it would have been 2-2 um, and gone down to the wire perhaps uh, called on that running foul and then Crassy with all that experience um, jumping on the opportunity getting that side pressure out the gate straight away um, and getting the job done but look ultimately for Lachlan very proud of him very proud that he is physically at the, th at the level that he's at um, 
being able to have a genuine match with Crassy where he was right there, he was right there, um, is a fantastic indicator of his progression, and I have no doubt it's going to continue. I have no doubt um, the rise uh, will 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 happen, and uh, he's just on the way up. So well done, Lachlan. Um, right there, man, and no doubt back to training and uh, keep grinding and doing what we do. And Crassy, congratulations on getting back on the winner's circle. Um, the other two matches, Kalachenko, very impressive performance. Well done. Immense hand control out of the straps. Very, very good stuff, brother. Um, looking good, and it was cool. He called out Sanders' status as well. I'd like to see the match. Um, and Chance Shaw putting up a good fight in the, the back end of that match. Found an avenue and almost, almost was able to, to make the comeback. Um, and then Matt Mask, my goodness. Dominant Matt Mask. Very dominant Matt Mask uh, against the legend Ron Barth. A um, lot of respect shown between the two of them uh, again. And it was just a too good, too much power, too explosive from Matt Mask. And Ron just unable to get into it. But we all know how good Ron is. And uh, no one takes anything away from the man from that performance. But overall, like I said, it, it was one of the most enjoyable King of the Tables that I've watched. Uh, I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, great Great call as well from Jake Ward, Aussie arm wrestler, Coach Ray. Um, very, very impressive stuff. But anyway, guys, hope you uh, enjoyed it as much as I did. And uh, if you haven't seen it already, go by the pay-per-view because it will still be there for the next few days. I'm sure it's well worth the watch. All right, guys.